When I started the academic medicine and leadership track, I had a vision. And that vision really stemmed from my passion, which is developing leaders. In healthcare, we need physician leaders. We need more physician leaders, and we need effective physician leaders. And this is one way of starting that investment in our students. Leadership always kind of seemed like this abstract concept to me, but I feel like now I kind of know that it's a skill, just like anything else. And it just got me thinking about leadership more, and I've applied for a lot more leadership positions. I'm a SOSA convention chair for the national uh, group. I'm an OPP junior fellow right now. I was on the student government. And I don't think I would have really pursued these things if I wasn't aware of them to begin with. And AML did a great job of kind of getting my mind on leadership. And through this track, I feel like I have a much better understanding about how to go about, you know, lobbying, who do I talk to, how do I get into these leadership roles to actually go about making these changes. There's also a growing number of uh, need for academic physicians. As residency programs increase, expand, and more get created, as new medical schools come online and class size increases occur, there's always a need for physicians who are interested in academics and teaching the next generation of physicians. I really like uh, helping people learn and grow in their own experiences. And so I felt like this would be the best opportunity for me to grow in both my leadership and in uh, understanding exactly what academic medicine is. Uh, I feel like in med school, you don't have that much opportunity to develop your public speaking skills. So that was something that I really looked forward to. I would like to teach at some point in my medical career. Uh, I do think there will be times where I may be giving a presentation on a patient case or research that I'm doing, and I feel like in any of those scenarios, being able to speak effectively will be critical. We went into how residencies are structured, how hospitals are structured, how insurances are run, and how that affects everything down the line. Uh, my eyes were opened to really everything that's going on behind the scenes that mo most people don't know is going on. All doctors to me are leaders. This is applicable to everyone. Everyone's gonna be a leader in one way or another.